VCAL students may undertake structured work placement to demonstrate achievement in some or all of the learning outcomes in their VCAL units. Where learning and assessment occurs through structured work placement, the VCAL provider will need to ensure that the student has opportunities to achieve the learning outcomes for the VCAL unit that they are enrolled in. This will require appropriate supervision and monitoring of student progress and a cooperative arrangement with the employer. It is important to remember that the teacher, not the employer, is responsible for all assessment decisions. Providers should refer to information on structured workplace learning requirements on the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development website. It is important to note that there is no formal on-the-job training or structured workplace learning requirement within the accredited units of the VCAL. It is also important that students undertaking a structured workplace learning placement as part of their VCAL program have an understanding of occupational health and safety. Each student must undertake relevant OHS training prior to commencement of the structured workplace learning placement. For example, if a VCAL student is enrolled in Certificate 2 in Automotive Studies, pre-vocational, and is undertaking the relevant OHS unit within this certificate, then the student is able to commence a structured work placement in an automotive environment. If, however, the student wishes to undertake a structured work placement in an unrelated environment, such as retail, then this student must alternatively complete the VCAL Work Related Skills Unit 1, including the Safe at Work program, before commencing their placement. Refer to the flowchart within this document to guide you. Further information can be found in the VCAL Unit Assessment Planning Guide, any of the VCAA VCAL Curriculum Planning Guides, the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development website,